everyone! Epioch here. Welcome you guys to my reintroduction of Hexit something something something. I haven't come up with a name yet for it because I, uh, well, obviously I had to change things from the original series. Basically comes down to me going from 1.01 .01 to updating to the 1.04, having more issues than I could deal with, trying to manually revert it back, crashing a bunch of times in the Technic platform, and having eventually, un well, completely removed it in the worlds, and restarting from scratch. So I spent part of the weekend uh, messing around and... Well, eventually, I, I, I'm planning on redoing the whole series again, but right now I decide, you know what, let's just do this for fun, and I just want to check things out, because there has been some uh, changes. So let's go in here, and I'll show you one of the bigger changes, especially for what we were originally doing, and that has to do with Tinker's Construct. Now, before, before, <laughs> we could all just, uh, you know, take a piece of metal, go into the part builder, well, there's the part builder, and uh, throw this in here and be like, oh, I'm going to take a piece of metal and shove it in here doesn't work that way anymore. Um, you cannot do that with metal. You can do it with wood. You can do it with uh, paper. You can do it with anything that basically doesn't need to be melted down. Um, now everything works is you make the pattern, you take the pattern, you shove it into one of these tables, um, casting tables, and what it will do, it will create one of these, um, these casts. Um, so let's just, for example, uh, we'll just take out that sword, whatever. I'm actually... Let's not use that sword. Let's use something cooler like, I don't know. Um, here, let's use this head and head pattern. Alright, so for instance, this is how you make a cast. You just toss that thing in there and you go BAM. But I can't do that because the only thing I send here is, I think that's steel. Um, yeah, I think you have to use bronze, a bronze aluminum alloy, or gold. And I think I use gold for everything. Actually, I could have did this bar, but whatever. Um, but anyway, so that's how that works. And uh, that's just kind of how a cast would work. It's pretty simple. It works the same way as the ingot. You just plop it in there, click on the... Oop, oh, God, that... Well, it worked out in the end. <clears throat> So anyway, so that's how that's basically working now, and uh, you just pick up that, you have the steel axe head, you put it together the same way in the tool, the tool station, um, so basically it's just a matter of how you make the parts a little bit different, and I think I still have uh, creative mode on, yes, I have been using creative mode, and I'll show you guys why in a minute. So anyways, that's the biggest difference I've seen, um, another difference is, uh, before where we're having a lot of cool castles everywhere, I don't know if they removed the mod. I've been looking for like change logs and what might have changed from here to there, and uh, it seems like there's a lack of ca castles around. Um, battle towers everywhere, but everything else, no. Anyway, so this episode we're just going to focus on uh, me showing you guys my new transport system, um, and you probably have already seen it. It works off from using these star beam torches, which are just taking uh, star pieces, which fall, um, falling stars, and you break them down into this dust. And this dust eventually creates these star bean torches. These star bean torches are freaking amazing because they're a transportation system. Um, here's a simple one right here. Um, all you do is you'd hold shift. You'd stand on where you want to start from. It's like a six block limit in distance. And you jump, place, and whoop, bamses. Look at that. Slide down the thing. Now this is a very small one. I... Got a little bit out of hand. Actually, I managed to collect quite a few stars, wandered around at night, just bored out of my mind, and created quite a big, uh, quite a few of this, or quite a few of this, um, quite a lot of this with just being in survival mode. But what ended up happening is I got a little bit um, impatient and really wanted to do something cool. And you know what? Um, let's go back to creative mode real quick just so I don't have to, I didn't pray door or anything. Um, I don't know what I was talking about there, but anyways, yeah, so I made a big transportation system, and it just turned out I was getting annoying trying to do it survival, just for what I wanted to do, so I said, you know what, let's show off how a star beam, um, our star po torch beam, our star beam torch uh, transportation system work, because I find it actually a bit better than rails in a way, and kind of not. The reason why is because of the flexibility with what you're able to do, and you don't have to work in straight lines, and that's kind of cool. So anyways, let's uh, start off from the beginning of my system. Um, once been, we're in, let's go back to creative mode real quick. Um, did I have it on creative mode already? No. There we go. All right, so basically how it was is a series of towers that drop you down, and once you get, get back to a certain level, there's usually another tower that goes back up. So 
this is the starting point. Let's uh, let's go down this. This one, uh, as I said, this one's running straight as an arrow down. This one I decided to test out vertical movement. Um, works just the same. Um, actually, let's do this and it. Whee! So much fun. So awesome. Actually, I love it. It's amazing. All this is a matter of placing a torch and connecting yourself. You have to be in range, of course. Whoop, there we go. All right, let's go back to that view. So that's the first one, and then I created this one. It was a little bit shorter, but it was a little bit wavier. Oops, oh my god. Um, that's all right, we can just do this. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, we need to get a creative mode too. Um, actually, I don't like having it available to me. All right, jump, click. All right, see how this is uh, a lot more free range, free roam, spinning and everything? Yeah. Love it. I love these star, born, star beam uh, torches. A bit expensive and hard to collect, but they're cool. The only problem with them is getting back uphill, because how it works is you have to have you have to be going downhill for yourself to move. Um, there is a way to move uphill, like you can use your momentum to go back uphill, um, and you can also uh, crouch and I think crouch and jump at certain points along the movement, and it will allow you to do stuff. So. Anyways, let's go to the top of this, and we will, um, I'll show you the last pieces. I didn't get as far as I wanted to, but that's okay. That is perfectly fine. All right, so let's get up this thing. Actually, I need a proper system besides ladders, especially the, the last one. So, all right, uh, let's turn on that. All right, come on, there we go. All right, now jump. Also, if you don't have, unlike a rail system where it's like, oh, I don't have a cart, I don't got metal on me, and I can't do anything about it to ride it, with this, it's just like, all right, well, I don't have a torch on me, so I'll just jump to the next platform or next torch, pick it up, drop it, and I'll still be able to use this system. All you need to have is one torch in hand to place to use it. Let's go to this last thing. Actually, I don't know if this is the last one. Nope, there's two more sections here. Except for this one is the really tall one, but it's still good stuff. But yeah, so I'm uh, I'm thinking about how I'm gonna do this and uh, with a new a whole new whole new series, and I'm not sure if I want to do a hardcore or not. I'm really tempted to do hardcore, but I still got this kind of cold feet about what happened here with my last series and and changing change logs. I might I might wait a little bit longer with Hexit and just do like a short tech it series. I don't know. Um, I, I got to think about it. I'm going to be camping this weekend, and canoeing, and, you know, spending my time doing what I was doing before. And I figured I'll think about while I'm up there. So, might as well, while I'm adventuring in life, real life, I can think about my adventures in the electronic digital world. See how things work out. So, anyways, let's get up to the top here. Come on. Gah, maybe I should have just went to, uh, well, there we go. All right. So anyways, let's uh, go on this last pit. This one I tried a little bit different because I tried to make a steep point. And with that steep point, you just let it move a little bit faster. Ooh, yeah. There we go. So anyways, as you're moving down, you see I made a little bit of a change here. I uh, actually left it as, well, I changed it from the little wood panels to uh, these cloth ones. And probably makes it kind of looks like clouds. And it kind of fit the, wait a minute. Holy crap, I didn't stop at that last stop. Oh, well. Um, yeah, I was supposed to stop there. Apparently, it jumped ship to this next one. That's perfectly fine. All right, bam. Takes us here. So here, I'll go up to the top here, and then I'll show you guys kind of what's going on and and uh, what I was originally playing. I'm not gonna actually build the fi the finish this entire thing um, because I think I'm gonna see if I can get one up to the full maximum height of the world and see how long I can create it. Because I think that would be cool just to have a really, really long downhill, you know, thing. So, anyways, let's open my map real quick. As you see how I did it, I, uh, oh, whoa. All right, I started here and I weaved. Oh, you can't see him as well. Well, that sucks. Well, anyways, you see uh, where I'm at here and it weaves its way over here to this platform right there. And it goes from that platform all the way across to that really tall one I started on. I was actually supposed to stop here, but I think I put the torch that I'm supposed to landing down on too close to the one I take off from. So that does that here you go. You can this is the nice thing about the wood over the um the cloth ones I have or the wool ones I have is because you can actually see the track itself and how it actually 
curves through the world and everything. I was actually going to go through and make a whole one that takes me all the way up here and uh, should load any time. There's a whole bunch of, I actually traveled quite far. Um, but I decided not to because uh, I was kind of waiting for them to fix because I think 1.04 had problems. I just noticed 1.05 today. So, but uh, anyways, so I'm going to think about how I'm going to do this next series. I want to do a, a, a Minecraft series because... Well, I took quite a long break from Minecraft here, and I, I'm loving I'm loving Hexit. It just it's had a few issues that I'll need to be getting over. So, uh, any guys, I hope you guys enjoyed my little uh, um, my little well star beam torch rail system or whatever you want to call it. Um, maybe I'll even get involved in multiplayer. Who knows? Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next uh, Let's Play series to do, and hope y'all have a good one. Peace out.